You know, Abraham was a man of faithfulness. Abraham didn't always get it right. He, he made lots of mistakes prior to this moment where he was able to faithfully say, here I am. And he was able to do what God called him to do in radical obedience. But, you know, at the end of this study, if you've ever sat in a Bible study or if you've heard another message on Abraham and Isaac, oftentimes the application or the challenge from this message will be this. Contemplate in your heart what it is that you may have to lay on the altar before the Lord. What is the Isaac in your life that you need to lay on the altar? And I'm not saying that that's a wrong application and that you shouldn't consider that if that's how the Lord is speaking to you. But I want to note here that in the scriptures, it doesn't say that God was pleased with Abraham because of his sacrifice. In fact, Abraham actually didn't even have to really sacrifice his son. The Lord didn't have him go through with it. The scripture says that the Lord was pleased because Abraham did not withhold his son, his only son whom he loved. Abraham did not hold back. He held nothing back from the Lord. He was fully surrendered to God. And this is why the Lord was pleased. He saw radical obedience. A man who said, I'm holding nothing back. I'm completely surrendered to you, Lord. And when Abraham made himself present, to God and said, here I am. That's when the great I am showed up and said, here I am. And I will continue to show up for you over and over and over again. Stay in alignment with me. Stay in my presence. So maybe this week we just need to take some time to say, here I am. Lord, give me ears to hear. I will look up. Lord, show me your ways. And with your mouth, perhaps there are truths that you need to speak. Speak life. Speak truth. Stay anchored in the Lord.